Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 7-4, Subtracting Linear Expressions. In this lesson we will learn to subtract linear expressions and solve real world problems by subtracting linear expressions. Subtracting linear expression is very similar to adding linear expression. When subtracting linear expressions, subtract like terms. As with adding their linear expression, sorry, as with adding linear expressions, you can use models and zero pairs if needed. So here we have the models with our algebra tiles. And you can see that we're still doing something similar to lesson 7-3 where we were adding, except now we are subtracting, right? You can see the symbol there. So we have 5x plus 4 minus 3x plus 2. So again, we take our like terms, 5x, take away 3x. You can see that 5x, and we're going to take away 3x. And we have 2, I mean we have 4, take away 2. 4, take away these two. So what does that leave us with? It leaves us with 2x plus 2, right? Took 3 away from 5. So that it leaves you with 2x, and you took 2 away from 4, which leaves you with 2. Let's look at b. And now b, we have negative 4, and we're taking away negatives. You see here, we have negative values, and now we're going to take away negatives. When you take away some of these negatives, you're actually adding. Right? Because you're, you're reducing the number of negatives. You have 4 negatives, and you're going to take away another negative. It's going to leave you with only 3 negatives, right? Okay, let's see. We can write them vertically so that you have it written like this, 4x minus 6 minus negative x minus 3. What you can always do is you change... How should I explain this? Let's see if you can follow my train of thought. How can I, when I'm taking away these negatives, now try to pay attention closely. Here's what I can do. I can put these in brackets. And I put a 1 here. Right? So now I have negative 1, and I'm going to distribute. I'm going to use distributive property and multiply with the two values in there. Once I do that, I have negative times negative is going to equal a positive. Therefore, my negative signs are gone. And then I, again, I have negative, negative 1, times negative 3 equals positive 3. So this one just becomes a positive, plus 3. Okay? And that's what they're trying to show you here. Like with this, along with this symbol right here, this one changes. So it's like the outside symbol is being multiplied through distributed property with the inside values. If that doesn't work for you, then just always remember when you're taking away negatives, you have to take away negatives from these. So you're actually going closer to zero towards the positive. So you have negative 4, take away x, negative 6, plus 3. And there you have it. Okay? Here's the way to look at it. You have the negatives. I have four negative x's. Right? Four of them. And I take away one of them. Subtract it away. I'm only left with three. I have six negatives. And I take away three of them. Remember? I took away three of them right there. Look here. I took away three of them. So when you take away three of them, you're just left with three. So negative three. Right? So it's negative three x, negative three. Okay, let's try these two. Go ahead, pause the video now and try them on your own. Okay, I hope you paused the video and you're ready to check your answers. The way I would do it is I would take this entire part here of this st statement and move it under and place it right here, starting with the minus. You see the minus we have here. And then negative 2, I mean, so 2x minus 1. Okay, and then we just work vertically. I have 7 take away 2x, so 7x take away 2x brings me to 5x. And then I have 5 negatives, and I'm going to take away one of those negatives. So that should just bring me down to 4 negatives, because I'm taking away one of them. Right? So like, if I drew it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my five negatives. I'm going to take away, that's what subtracting means, take away one of those negatives. 
Now if I do that, then I'm taking this one away, and now I only have four negatives. Okay, let's try question B, 1B. And we're going to do the same that I did. I'm going to take this portion of the number sentence and place it down here, starting with my subtraction sign. So minus 2x minus 4. Okay. So I have 6x. Take away 2x. Brings me to 4x. And now I have negative four negatives and I'm going to take away those four negatives you see that so my answer is just simply 4x because I have four negatives and I'm taking away those same four negatives I'm left with nothing okay let's continue on to example two for example two we have um, more algebra tiles where we have 3x plus 2 take away negative 2x plus 1. I'm taking away negatives. I don't have any negatives here. You see that? I don't have any. And I'm trying to take some away. Well, I can only take, as I've explained before, um, from what's not there. It's hard to explain it that way. I would have to draw it for you. But the way that they're showing you here with the tiles also makes sense. They have 3x's plus 2. And then we're going to take away the two negatives. Since there are no negatives, x tiles to remove at two zero pairs of x tiles. Okay? Two zero pairs. A zero pair it means that you're gonna add a negative and a positive, a negative and a positive. Together they make each zero. But when you add those two together, then you can because they can only be added in, as pairs, then you have to take now you can you have those negatives to take away. So go ahead and take those negatives and there you're left with only the positive, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The way I've always explained it, and you might remember this from one of my long-winded explanations in class, is that everything is, for example, let's say we have three positives, 1, 2, 3. Everything after that is just simply negative. We have to fill space with something else, either positive or negative. So if I have three, I have the value that you see here is three positives, right? Just, I just have three. If I take away negatives and I decide to take these two away as well, they become positives, one, two. So I just took away two of those negatives that were there, but now they became positive. So now I have five. That's essentially what they're trying to show you here, except they use a different trick with the algebra tiles. They say to add zero pair of tiles. Zero pair of tiles is when you add, if you want to add a negative, you have to also add a positive. So you just put those in and then take away the negatives and you're only left with the positives. So 3x plus 2 minus negative 2x plus 1 equals 5x plus 1. Okay, let's try that with these two. You can use the method with the tiles or you can simply stack them. And remember, when you take away negatives, you add. Pause the video now. Okay, I hope you paused the video. Let's rewrite uh, 2a into x minus 5, take away 2x minus 1. And we have, here's 1x, and I'm going to take away 2x. So I'm taking away this one, plus 1, that's not there, 1 to the 0, and it becomes negative x. And then I have 5 negatives, and I'm going to take away one of those negatives, it leaves me with negative 4, because I took 1 away, right? So negative x minus 4. And then, let's try here, 2b. I have 6m plus 3. Take away negative 4m minus 1. We have different ways we could do this. We are taking away negatives, so we know that when we take away negatives, we add or simply place a 1 in front of this negative and use distributive property. And if you do that, what happens is this one will become a positive 4, right? Because negative since negative is positive, and this one will become a plus 1. 
and this is done. So now I have 6 plus 4m equals 10m and 3 plus 1 equals 4. Right? That's one way to do it, or you can just simply remember when you take away negatives, you add. Solve problems with linear expressions. Now we're going to apply this to real world scenarios. You can solve real world problems by subtracting linear expressions. So let's see here. Example 3. The expression 8x plus 48.75 represents the total amount of money the soccer team earned from selling X amount of t-shirts. We just don't know how many shirts, but we know that they probably sold them at um, $8 per shirt, right? So $8 every shirt plus 48.75 that they make some, some way or somehow. If the team had to pay 2x plus $24 in expenses, write an expression to represent their profit. Okay, so this is how much they, they have in total after all the sales, but out of that, we have to subtract what they spent on, on the merchandise they sold so that we understand what our profit is, right? This is how much they spent to, and this is how much they had left after all the sales, so we have to subtract the initial investment from the total so we can have the profit. So we have total expense, total minus expenses, and then we're going to work with like terms. So 8x minus 2x equals 6x, and 48.75 minus 24, right? Because it's take away 24 equals 24.75. So if the soccer team sold 54 t shirts, what was their profit? Well, we replace now, we, we've been given a value of t shirts. So we go ahead and replace those values in x. So 6 times 54 equals 324 plus 24, 48, 24.75. And you add it together and you get $375. So that was their profit for all the t shirts. Let's try that with A and B. Go ahead, pause the video now, and try it on your own. Or we can uh, read it together, and then you can try it on your own. After working X hours, so an unknown number of hours, on Monday, K earns $9 per hour, right? 9X dollars, $9 every hour, but we don't know how many hours, so it's just $9 per hour. On Tuesday, she earns 7X plus $3. Write an expression to represent how much money, how much more she earned on Monday. So that's what she earned on Monday, and that's what she earned on Tuesday. We have to find the difference. So subtract this value from this value. Okay, so we write it out as 9x minus 7x plus 3. Okay. So 9x minus 7x is simply 2x plus 3, right? Only these two terms work together, those are the like terms. Okay, if she worked for 5 hours each day, how much more did she earn on Monday? So this is how much more she earned on Monday, right, the expression, but now they've given us the value of x. So let's replace that, 2 times 5 plus 3. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Okay, so she earned $13 more on Monday than she did on Tuesday. There it is. Therefore, she earned $13 more on Monday compared to Tuesday. Okay, everybody, that's our lesson for today. See you next class.